Hi, this is Sharon at FinInFun.com. You're looking at a pen and ink drawing by Lucien Pizarro, the son of Camille Pizarro, and that is a study of Camille Pizarro etching seen from the back. And I feel a real strong connection to this because I have a lot of pictures of myself that my son took, and he would just walk by with a camera and shoot a picture because there I was sitting working. And uh, he didn't see me from the back. Mine are all from the front, but or the side. But I have a lot of pictures like this, and it just makes me think that I even have more of a connection to Pizarro, where his son had the time and energy and desire to make this kind of a picture of his dad, and my son always doing that to me. Um, and on this same page is a letter that Camille Pizarro wrote to his son Lucien um, in 1883. And that's sort of at the beginning of the time that the Impressionists were coming on. Um, and he, you can see that he has a lot of doubts about its work. and. Um, he talks about compliments and he says, the ones I value the most came from Degas who said he was happy to see my work becoming more and more pure. The etcher Brackemond, a pupil of Ingres, said, possibly he meant what he said, that my work shows increasing strength. I will calmly tread the path I have taken and try to do my best. That last sentence just pulls my heart out of my chest. I will calmly pat tread the path I have taken and try to do my best. The first thing that makes me think of is little William Hung on American Idol, and I have that video over on Behance. So I'm going to go ahead and link to that project. I hope you'll take a look at it. Um, but to me, that that's the thing that we have to say. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going, exactly what I'm doing, but I'm on a path. I need to stay calm and keep going. Sometimes you don't exactly know what you're going to come up with, but the important thing is to keep, you know, one foot in front of the other, make a stand, make a decision, and go ahead and do it. Um, one of the big things that's happening now this week is that I'm going to publish some of my personal writing, um, biographical short stories, I guess you'll say. I don't know exactly where I'm at with it until I work with it a bit more. But <clears throat> it's huge for me to do that. I never thought I would be able to publish them. And I think it's just the stress of my situation is making me realize it's either now or never. So I am going to go ahead and do it. And I will calmly tread the path I have taken and try to do my best. And I will constantly think of Camille Pizarro doubting himself and thinking he wasn't good, but still doing it and leaving us with the treasures he's left us. And um, my whole point is to get people to please stop thinking they can't help themselves. Please stop thinking you're obese because of all these reasons, when the only reason is that you're not helping yourself. You're letting your excuses hold you back. And I never thought I could be such a healthy, active person in my whole entire life. I thought if, I never really dreamed of losing weight, but if I did imagine it, I never knew I would feel so good. I just thought I'd be thin and still miserable. But instead I'm thin and healthy and I have all this energy at the age of 54 that I didn't have when I was 14. So really, I just have to keep trying to do my best and... Um, I hope you like it. I hope you keep watching, listening, and reading. And especially if you're obese, please go read my obesity posts. Please read my excuses posts. And um, I have the books at Amazon, but the most important thing for me is that you will start and change your life and come over to this much better place because the misery of obesity is absolutely not worth another minute of your time. You need to be full force on getting over it and moving on, and I hope you will be. Please visit fitinfun.com and see what I'm writing about.